and the Kano state government has assented a bill which splits the 44 local government areas that were previously under the Kano Emirate into five equal powered emirates. Now that means that a mayor of Kano Sanusi Lamido Sanusi is not as powerful as he used to be. A lot of people have said this is a payback from Governor Ganduji against Sanusi, remembering that Sanusi did not support Ganduji during the elections. Some are saying serious politics in Kano, but what really is the reason for the split or really is it all about a payback? That is forming our topic for discussion today on Root Cause. My name is Gloria Oji Emori. I have this conversation I'm glad to have in the studio, Kabiru Umar Farah. He's a politician from Kano. Welcome. Thank you. And we have a public affairs analyst, Akim Akintayo, right here in the studio. Thank you so much for having me. Mr. Kabiru, I'm so glad to have you because there's a lot of information out there, but you are from Kano. So explain this to us. What really happened and why do you think Governor Ganduje approved, assented to the splitting of the Kano Emirate. This uh, creation are just a revalidation. It's not, they are not newly created. This Emirate that we're talking about have been in existence even before during colonial period. So it's not, uh, maybe it is now because there is politics and there is uh, calculation that uh, uh, governor and this Emir of Kano, they are not in good terms. So some quarters will calculate it as payback. But if you look at it, take Renault for example. Since the inception of Emir uh, uh, the Emirate of Kano, that's Emirate of Renault, you can say it is a second class Emir or third class Emir, but there's Emirate. And the people that run those Emirates, they are from those Emirate Council. They are not appointed from Kano. And even now, you cannot say Emir of Kano is not powerful because he is the chairman of all the Emirs. The only difference is that uh, maybe when there are celebrations in Kano, before all the football local government with their uh, local chiefs will come to Kano. Now, this has happened before. During 1979, 80, 82, I work at Emirates region. They, they were created, about uh, nine of them, that including part of Jigawa. But now it is Kano, and it is only Kano that uh, with the 44 local government is having only one Emir. All right, let's talk about the economic aspect of it because you said there's so many ways to view it. Yep. You've talked about historically. W what about economically? How does this help, you know, these local government areas? It's just like creation of local government. When you have only one state, no local government, how does the masses from those um, communities reach the government? It's the same way. How do you want uh, a former man from Kibia, Lano, Bunkure, to reach the enemy of Kano, you have to come through a ladder. That ladder will have to take you to uh, uh, Meungua, from Meungua to district head, from district head to the Emir. But now the Emir is very close to you. And because of the uh, nature of the establishment of the first class Emirs, funding must come from the government. Now, budgetary allocation, does it mean that now the money is split in five ways? They all have to come up with their five different uh, uh, projects and all of that. If that is the case, then financially, the Emir is no longer as powerful as he used to be. I mean, that's uh, Emir. Essentially. Yeah, I, I agree with you. You see, anything taken away from you, it will have an impact. But then we should look at the bigger picture, the masses that we are represented. Now, uh, if, you, if you go down uh, to the local governments, uh, yeah, there are a lot of proposals to split Kano into three, three states, because it's so big, more than 17 million people. 
for to follow up the mass. That's, that's, that's a crisis. Why now? Why didn't he do this in his first tenure? Why did he have to wait until after the elections that he's now ready for a second tenure to do this? Why did he do it four years ago? Why now? Like I said, you see, these things are not new. It could be over, oversight. Times also is uh, the biggest uh, factor in people's life because his, his, his ogre, his mentor, Awa Kalimi, did the same thing. But after they come back, there was no, maybe they are looking at the financial implication in the past. And maybe the government is now looking at financially, they can take care of that. That is, okay. that, the government has the reason for doing it at the time they are doing it. But let me tell you, the clear and precise uh, issue is that uh, this emirate were not new. People should know that. They were before created, they were before creation of the Awa Karimi's administration, they were also in their emirate during colonial period. So it is just a revalidation. And an and elevation of some sort. Elevation of some sort, yeah, from third class to first class. And again, since they are under the same state, the, the super first class emir is still going to be the emir of Kano. I, I, I have a belief that there was a political undertone, like I said before, and it was a payback. Because this man is, uh, is, is, a, is one of our, our, um, uh, our traditional rulers that we can say is well named. He is more like different from what, uh, what some other traditional rulers are in this country, or even his predecessor. He is bold. And even sometimes, even challenge political authority in the state to do the right thing and to make sure Kano is moved from what it was before to another level. As he has, he has advocated for more education for the populace, you know, for his subjects. And you know, he's not, it's not his jurisdiction to do that. He, he has always been challenged. Even that, that, there was a point when senators in Abuja gang up against this one because he was speaking out. And these are the change we need in this country. People that will speak out. Look at, of course, look at uh, uh, Governor Ganduji. Well, he, he shot himself on the foot. It wasn't the fault of uh, 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 Sanusi for somebody who he had uh, maybe political uh, disagreement with to come out with a video and uh, that, 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 that uh, you know, portray him as a bad taker in court. And, and, and this man felt, uh, I mean, the, the governor felt um, the emir is closer to his predecessor or his political archiver, which is a uh, uh, Kwan and he, he decided to uh, go all out to to demystify the 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 the, 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 uh, emir, the emirate in, in Kano, and which is which is which is really Does it, not fair. Okay, with this split, do you think everybody looks at it as a situation where he is less powerful? But does it really stop his activism? Does it really stop him from it being? Will. You it see. will, it will, because this other emirate that have been given power now will only speak for uh, on the side of the government of the day or the, the government that brought them to be. Yeah, I, I think you, you are getting it wrong. You see, when you are looking at the leadership, you also, like I said, look at the community people are representing. The community we are representing, when you are talking about tourism, have you ever heard of Rono community, which has been in the what we call Hausa Bokwe, the, the emirate that we are talking in Hausa land, there are seven. Seven defined and Hausa Bokwe and Banza Bokwe. They are all defined emir emirates. Where do you hear from them? Because of marginalization. Now, Rano has been in existence like Kano. But because it has been treated as a third class uh, citizen, nobody has of it. The tourism don't go there. Now the tourism will expand to all those emirates now. Because what does the tourism come to do in Kano? To see the traditional setting, to see the Hawandaba. Each of these emirs will now do it. I come from Oyo State. Yep. My my governor almost did the same thing, and the system the challenged him because they know that he was doing he was doing a political vendetta because he felt the Oba of uh, the Ulubad of of mm. Ibadan mm. did not support him. Instead, it was. Uh, being on his own is a, a, a man that has his own opinion. This, these politicians want everybody to be subjected to them, including the traditional, and it's not supposed to be so. Let me tell you, uh, I always take British monarchy as example. 
the uh, the prime minister has his office. He, he is, in, is, is in charge of administration of the government. Mm -hmm. Why the monarchy is for ceremony? It's for you know, if you go to if, uh, any tourism that any uh, tour, tourist mm -hmm. rather that goes to England today he wants to see the Buckingham one of the reasons you see you even you I'm okay. sure if you want to go to uh, Buckingham uh, uh, Palace, you want to go to Buckingham Palace because that is an institution on its own. That's what he's trying to say. That's 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 you know, it's like okay, dividing the monarchy. People will the people will fight against it. You see, British people will fight against it. No, I don't like, agree with you on that. No, no, no. It's like you know, the monarchy it. has been there. It's just that uh, one is being reduced to no monarchy at all, and now it's being promoted back. All right. Can but, you... but are you reducing the powers of Emir Emir Sanusi or not? That's the point. That's something he's, he's, the, chairman. he's the chairman. He's the chairman. You say. You say. Something once you remove something from somebody, I say if you don't have an impact, depends. The, 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 the impact. All right, all right. Let, let's go. I, I think the governor is not looking at the economic impact. He's just looking at the political advantage. Are you in this? Let me ask a question. Let me ask a question. I think just a moment. If through a vendetta he ends up empowering a group of people, is that not a positive? I mean, I'm just asking because for some people they say these are two powerful men, rich men. I mean. Hey, when the elephants fight, the grass yes, suffers. Okay. But what if in this case, when the elephants fight, the grass is actually no, greener? But, but the point is, is even if you are elevating mm. um, uh, uh, maybe a, 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 an, an opinion leader in, a, in the traditional setting, it should be f to add advantage or to, to add value to that traditional institution. If but in this case, it is not happening. I mean, some people are asking, why is it now? That the kind of state complaints, uh, uh, would I say, authority or department is now setting up, instituting an investigation into his spending. Now, Sanusi, obviously, I don't, I don't know how he ended up with all the luxury cars and everything, but I don't think he was ever poor because he has always been from wealthy. This is a former CBN governor for crying out loud. Say, but there are allegations that he has misspent, misused you know, funds meant for the Emirates and, of course, for the for the masses to enrich himself, private trips, expensive cars and all of that. Now, that, of course, is important. But the question is, why are they now instituting let, it I now? Which let him tell us why. No, no, you, you see, you see there, are things that are, there are things that are, are areas of no going there. Okay. Because when things are under investigation, you see, coins have two sides. You have to be privileged to have information from both sides before you can say this is your view. Mm -hmm. Most of the time when you say this is my position, without actually knowing the other side, you might end up making wrong judgment. Uh -huh. They say that Governor Ganduje is planning to dethrone Sanusi, Lamido Sanusi. How true is that? I'm glad. I mean, how true is that? You see, you see when you look at the political scenario, like I say, everybody is free to his own opinion. I don't see where they don't they, they, they don't need to parley again. Even recently, after the election, I've, I've witnessed Ganduja and any of Kano parleying in so many occasions. So for somebody to come and tell you this is happening, negative or positive, and he is not uh, he is not party to whatever has been discussed. Is, is, is going to mislead the public. So you're tra just saying these are powerful men, they'll sort themselves out. It's not they, they been, it has happened, just like politicians in Kano. When you see Konkoso and Ganduji, if you like, you want to go and kill yourself because of them, they know where they meet. But I still want to ask again. People are looking at personality. I still want to ask again, it's a rumor though. It's but rumor. is that true? Is it, they, Could there be some truth to that information that's being passed around? Is there... Are they plans to destroy but, but, him? I, but just like you had it, I had it too. Uh, but if I mean, if, if I just like say, you had it, I had it. Look, whether we like it or not, the Emir is already dethroned with this action. Yes, that is it. Thank um, you so much. He wants Alice to be allowed to be. Anyways, this this is a continuing conversation. So we'd like to get your thoughts on all that you have heard here. Please tell us on the comment section of this video. A big thank you to you, Akima Kintara, for talking so to us. Much. And of course, Alaji Kabiu, thank you so much for giving us the perspective of the Kano State Government. And of course, from the Kano State people, helping us to understand that. My name is Gloria Oje Emode, and you're watching with TV Nigeria. <laughs>